Welcome to week 6 of the Microsoft Flight Simulator news update. We've got some exciting releases to share with you this week, including PMDG's final piece of the 737NG series, the 737-900, the Mini 500 Light Helicopter, Locarno Airport by FlyLogic, Captain Fap Guillermo Concha Iberico International Airport, Helipads LA Medical, and last but not least, UK Carrier Strike Group. So, buckle in and prepare for takeoff. To kick things off, we're excited to announce that Namath Designs has recently released their highly detailed recreation of the Partenavia P68B Victor for the simulator. This versatile twin engine, high wing utility monoplane was originally produced in Italy and has been used for various purposes such as passenger transport, military operations, cargo hauling, and law enforcement. The Namath Designs version boasts stunning 4K textures, custom flight dynamics, and a full wrap-around cockpit windshield, making it a great addition to any MSFS enthusiast's virtual fleet. Whether you're looking for a new aircraft for short field performance or simply want to immerse yourself in a beautifully recreated classic, the P-68B Victor is sure to impress. The manual provides all the information you need to get started and the aircraft is available for purchase now for £16.16. And, and now, let's take a look at another exciting and much-awaited addition to the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator with the release of PMDG's final piece of the 737NG series, the Boeing 737-900. The package includes two new airframes, the 900 and the 900ER. It also comes with specific options for each variant and operational differences, such as auxiliary fuel tanks, payload configurations, winglets, and a customized flight model. The 737-900 offers significant performance differences when compared to its shorter siblings and requires higher takeoff speeds and longer runways. PMDG's rendition features a fully customized system simulation, a highly sophisticated logical simulation of onboard information systems and aircraft management, and a customized flight model with enhanced physics. The package also includes a custom sound package, a highly detailed tridimensional cockpit, advanced animations, and a complete tutorial. The PMDG 737-900 is priced at $49.99 and is available for purchase through PMDG's online store. However, the PMDG flight tablet is not yet included in this version. The developer has mentioned that this feature is still in the works and is expected to be worth the wait. And rounding out this week's plane releases, Got Friends has introduced the Mini 500 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The Mini 500 is a single-person light helicopter from the 90s that was sold as a kit for home building by the Revolution Helicopter Corporation. The helicopter is designed to look like a Mini Hughes 500 and is powered by a Rotax 582 engine that produces around 64 horsepower. It has a range of 225 miles and a maximum speed of 115 miles per hour. The MSFS version of the Mini 500 features custom MGL avionics, multiple visual effects, a native flight model, interchangeable avionics, and various custom liveries. It is available for purchase for $15 on the Got Friends shop. Moving on to airports, where Skyline Simulations has released their highly detailed Cincinnati International Ultra. Cincinnati has recently become one of the busiest cargo hubs in the U.S. and is ranked as the second-best regional airport in North America by Skytrax. It is a global hub for both Amazon Air and DHL Aviation and is the fastest-growing cargo airport in North America ranking fourth for total cargo operations. The scenery includes a realistic airport layout, Ultra HD custom textures, detailed HD ground with PBR and decals, super detailed 3D modeling, PBR materials on every building, thousands of custom static objects, and much more. The Cincinnati scenery is designed with the latest airport updates and can be purchased directly from the Skyline Simulations website for €19.90 or the Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace. Another airport released is Barra do Garcas Airport by V1 Studio. The airport is located in Brazil between Mato Grosso and Goiás states and is serviced by regular flights from Azul Airlines operating the Cessna Caravan C-208. The airport was created from scratch by V1 Simulations, with handmade texturing, modeling, decals, 
vegetation, and more. The team promises a true-to-life airport experience with a high-definition handmade ground texture, custom ground decals, signposts, vegetation, accurate dynamic airport lighting, and highly detailed models of all airport buildings. The 5,200-feet runway can be a challenge for pilots, especially in poor weather conditions. V1 Studio says this is just the beginning, with more airports to come in the future. You can buy the Barra du Garcas Airport for 12 Australian dollars and 70 cents on flightsim.to. FlyLogic has released a new airport, Locarno, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The Locarno Airport is a mixed civil and military airport located 6 kilometers from the city of Locarno in Switzerland. The airport has three runways, one paved runway and two grass runways, and it is used by private aircraft, student pilots, and Swiss Air Force operations. The airport is also home to a helicopter charter company, Elita Gino, and a glider club that makes exclusive use of the two grass runways. FlyLogic's rendition of Locarno Airport includes realistic and detailed depictions of the airport, with lifelike lighting effects, an animated clock and radar system, static airplanes and vehicles, animated people and windsocks, precise collision detection at the buildings, and optimized performance. The airport is compatible with Microsoft Flight Simulator from World Update 6 and comes with a manual in German, French, and English. It is available for purchase on SimMarket and Aerosoft for €12.40. SLH Sim Designs has recently released their version of Marie Galanti Airport. The airport serves the island of Marie Galanti located in Guadeloupe. The island was the first to be reached by Christopher Columbus during his second voyage in 1493 and is named after his flagship. The island is also known for its historic windmills, with only 72 remaining out of the original 105. The scenery features four KPBR textures, accurate terraforming, dynamic night lighting, and a realistic recreation of the landside. It can be purchased on Sim Market for 6 euros. X Simulations has launched their version of Captain Fap Guillermo Concha Iberico International Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator, serving Piura City in Peru. The airport has a long and dynamic history dating back to the 1950s when it was originally built as a small regional airfield. Over the years, with the region's economic growth, the airport underwent several renovations and upgrades to keep up with the growing demand for air travel, resulting in the addition of modern terminals, runways, and air traffic control systems, as well as expansion of its passenger and cargo facilities. Today, the airport is a major gateway to the northwestern region of Peru and continues to play an important role in regional economic development, handling an average of 860,000 passengers per year. The scenery includes an accurate representation of the airport, featuring PBR texturing, modeled terminal interiors, and static military aircraft. It is available for purchase on Sim Market for €7.99. The Chester Airport in Connecticut has been recreated for Microsoft Flight Simulator by indie developer Matteo Veneziani. The airport is a public-use, privately-owned facility located 5 kilometers southwest of Chester, with a 146-acre area and a 2,566-feet asphalt runway. The runway has a moderate slope and the apron is located below it with sloped taxiways connecting the two. The scenery features a custom ground poly with sloped runway and taxiways, objects that are displayed conditionally based on weather and time of day, and 4K textures with PBR. The scenery is available for purchase through Orbix Direct for 13 Australian dollars and 99 cents. The airport is classified by the FAA as a general aviation airport with 80% of its yearly traffic being general aviation aircraft and 20% air taxi operations. Chester does not have an IATA identifier. Orbix has released a new addition to its Helipads LA lineup called the Helipads LA Medical, which includes 19 medical helipads located in downtown Los Angeles and its surrounding areas. The medical helipads include major hospitals and medical centers such as Children's Hospital Los Angeles, St. Francis Medical Center, Adventist Health Glendale, UCLA Medical Center, Cedars-Sinai Medical Center and more. The models of these helipads have been meticulously created and there are five liveries for the Bell 407 helicopter. 
The Helipads LA Medical Pack is available for the Microsoft Flight Simulator and costs 14 Australian dollars and 35 cents, the same as the Helipads LA Police Pack. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way, you won't miss any future updates from us. Finally, Miltech Simulations has launched the UK Carrier Strike Group add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This military-themed add-on allows users to fly from the deck of the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers and practice their skills in a variety of scenarios. The group of vessels included in the add-on include the Queen Elizabeth, Prince of Wales, Type 23 frigates, Type 45 destroyers, and more. It features 10 static locations and 7 moving carrier locations and is compatible with other carrier products. The add-on is available on Orbix Direct and costs €14.99. Thank you for watching this week's video on the latest releases in MSFS. We hope you enjoyed discovering the new planes, scenery, and add-ons. If you liked the video, please show your support by giving us a thumbs up, subscribing, and turning on notifications so you don't miss any future updates. Your feedback and news is also greatly appreciated, so please leave a comment below. Happy flying and see you in the next video.